A milestone in Congress. For the first time in 233 years, a Native American, Native Hawaiian, and Native Alaskan all have seats in the U.S. House of Representatives. It happened after Mary Peltola made history. Here's Nicole Killian. When Congresswoman Mary Peltola arrived at the Capitol, she couldn't help but pinch herself. The reality has been sinking in more and more every day. Raise that right hand. The 49-year-old made history when she was sworn in as the first Alaska Native in Congress and the first female representative from the state. I'm here to represent all Alaskans. Speaking in her native Yupik. That means thank you very much. And donning traditional mukluk boots, the mother of seven and grandmother of two became the first Democrat to flip the seat in nearly 50 years, replacing the late Republican Congressman Don Young. How much of this is a full circle moment for you? My mom campaigned for him when she was pregnant with me. Um, I'm 49 years old. It's the 49th state. Through Alaska's new ranked choice voting system, Peltola won more votes than her GOP rivals, former vice presidential candidate and Alaska governor Sarah Palin, and Nick Begich, who hails from a well-known political family. How did you do it? I work very hard. I spent many hours a day on the phone with Alaskan voters, and I traveled extensively to meet people face to face. The political upset has turned her into an instant congressional celebrity. Thank you so much. And even earned praise in a congratulatory text message from Palin, who Peltola once worked with as a state legislator. It was refreshing to me that she was able to congratulate me. I never retreat, I reload. But come November, it's game on as Palin and Baggage will challenge Peltola again for a full two-year term. Well, I'm definitely working on building on the momentum that we gained in, in the special election. Uh, we have shown that it is doable. Hedging her bets for a repeat return to Washington. Nicole Killian, CBS News, the Capitol.